Good morning, my fine chaps. The question of the, this morning is, can police enter a vehicle and retrieve a firearm without permission? This comes from an officer from the great state of Colorado. Uh, guys, this is another Roadside Chat. My name is Anthony Bandero, attorney and senior legal instructor for Blue to Go Law Enforcement Training, broadcasting from the great state of Alabama in the great place of Beach, Alabama. I've never been in this area. It is off the hook, but they probably don't want me telling you guys that because you're going you're gonna to probably want to move here, and I think they're full. The um, officer says suicidal person in a car with a gun, the lo a loaded firearm remained in a vehicle even after the person was patted down and placed in protective custody and assisted in the rear cage of the patrol vehicle. So this guy, that suicidal mental issues, he is um, in, in control or controlled. The police are concerned for the community safety. And the question is, is can police officer enter the vehicle to retrieve the gun without permission? Or a Carroll doctrine to retrieve the gun, you know, without without permission or Carroll, because as he said, the um, you know the the weapon is not evidence of a crime. He's not being charged with a crime, right? So basically, in essence, is entering the vehicle uh, with no crime committed to re can we can we re uh, enter the vehicle even though there's no crime committed? The answer is yes. The answer is yes under community caretaking. So our seminal case on this issue is Katie versus Chester Dombrowski, U.S. Supreme Court, 1973. In that case, actually, that one uh, was involving an off-duty police officer who got arrested for DUI. Uh, the police went into the car, actually at the impound lot. It wasn't even on scene anymore, so these facts are even better. But the police went to the impound lot to search the his personal vehicle for his off-duty weapon. They believed he would have it. Um, it's unsure whether he actually had it, but they, that, they're under the impression that off-duty Chicago cops carry 24-7. Um, and so, especially while drunk, right? And so they, um, you know, this old school stuff, they went there, they, you know, they looked for the gun. Instead, they found evidence of a murder. And the Supreme Court upheld this search under community caretaking because, you know, having that gun accessible to other people would be dangerous. It's not prudent it's not safe to let that gun be um uh, con uh, controlled by the tow truck company or maybe even another family member unless they can uh, legally possess it um it probably police in colorado are probably not going to give a gun to to somebody else anyway and you know just for various reasons they have to have, to have a background check it, you know they're not going to be responsible for transporting uh, and, and transferring a uh, dangerous weapon to somebody else so the, the answer is yes under community caretaking you don't um, my officer is correct that this doesn't fall under Carroll doctrine, which is the, the motor vehicle exception, because th that's when you're searching for evidence. Instead, it's, it's falls under community caretaking. It will be upheld. And if the officer found plain view evidence while retrieving that firearm, as long as the entry into the vehicle was circumscribed for the purpose, in other words, um, you know, if you if you believe that there's a handgun underneath the seat, you're looking in their seat. You're not going in the, the center console and so forth. Unless you can articulate that there could be more weapons in the vehicle, that might get you some traction. Uh, but the court would have to find that credible. If they thought that the police officer was rummaging around for evidence, rummaging, using the gun as an excuse for wholesale rummaging for the vehicle, um, then that could probably backfire unless you have another exception, like an inventory. That's That would be legitimate. All right? All right, so at the end of the day, the answer is uh, yes, go retrieve the firearm. All right, all right, guys, keep up the questions coming. Uh, keep up the great work you're doing out there. I love answering these questions. I'll see you actually at noon because like, I'm going to do another roadside chat at noon.